Hi there, I don't think that children are stupid, but maybe Louis C.K. will say another opposite directional opinion that will convince me <laughs> in in a opposite uh, opinion, yes. By the way, I'm a Russian man who brings value through my own experiences and on this channel I talk about English, about my way to learn English and how I want to move to America in one day and I will. And to do this I need to understand uh, language in a native way and uh, I should comprehend every like a cultural experience and here I learn this comedy also on my channel you can find different videos not only about uh, like comedy interactions also about my bloggy stuff and something like uh, this impressions also I do like uh, we win em. like this way let's go watching we ah no I said uh, not we we are venom we should say we are venom Yes, we can do this or maybe Morty, Morty, come to me, come here, Morty, <laughs> like this. Let's watch. You know what's amazing to me? You can name your kid anything you want. Isn't that incredible? There are no. You know what's amazing to me? You can name your kid anything you want. Isn't that incredible? There are no laws. There should be a couple of laws. None. You can literally name your kid anything. You can name your kid a name with no vowels if you want, like. <laughs> It is funny because uh, Elon Musk named uh, their child. Did you did you see about uh, children? A child of an of Elon Musk. They named him like uh, X, uh, then some symbols A twelfth. Maybe we'll find it in the comment section after. <laughs> Yes, that's his name. <laughs> Clean your room. I'd like to name my kid a whole phrase, you know, something like ladies and gentlemen. That would be a cool name for a kid. Like, ladies and gentlemen, come here and clean your... make your bed. This is my son, ladies and gentlemen. Then when he gets out of hand, I get to go, ladies and gentlemen, please! <laughs> but you gotta be careful what you name your kid. You do have to be careful because what happens is other kids in school are gonna make fun of them. They're gonna make fun of their name. And you don't have to give them a weird name because they can do it with any name. Kids are geniuses at that. <laughs> any name, they take it, they go, Louie Screwy, Joey Blowy, Mike, your mother's a dyke, whatever they find. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what is a uh, dyke, but uh, it is funny, like uh, mother's uh, sh joke. Okay, dyke, what is a dyke? Sorry if I laugh about mother's joke. Dyke, it is... <laughs> ah, I understand, it is damn causeway, dyke, levy, levy, seawall, wow. <laughs> Find a way, these kids. Any name, what's your name? Eric, you fucking asshole. See, just like that. <laughs> Lightning speed these kids got. What's your name? Joe, eat a bag of shit, cunt face. You see, just like that. <laughs> My daughter is really something else, man. She's, she runs the house. She runs the whole house. She decides everything. Like, we were playing hide and seek the other day. We play hide and seek, and we play by her rules that she invented. And do you know why? Because she sucks at hide and seek. <laughs> And so she covers it with this fucking roost to level the playing field. And I gotta fucking pretend it's all that she's great. No, it's bullshit. Like, we're playing, oh, fucking, I know she's a kid, but fucking listen. When it's my turn to hide, she tells me where to hide. She tells me where. She goes, hide in the closet, Papa, but you're gonna know where I hide in the closet! All right, fuck, I'll hide in the closet. Good, fine. She's a I'm ruler. standing in the closet like an asshole. <laughs> she comes in, I found you. She's like shitty about it, like, I found you. And I'm like, wow. <laughs> How did you figure out where you told me to fucking hide? And then when she hides, this is her I don't have uh, children and uh, this joke is not super funny to me. Maybe I can't relate it to myself. And I ha 
I don't have this uh, childhood experience, maybe, because I didn't play with parents. Yes, I had divorced family. And then when she hides, this is her hiding. She goes over to a wall and does this. She goes... <laughs> That's it! There's nothing here! <laughs> like what she's a chameleon. What the fuck is this? Like this is some ninja invisibility crouch. Invisibility crouch. And I gotta act like an idiot. I can't just walk in and go, yeah, you're there. Because she'll cry and shit her pants, right? So I gotta walk around like an asshole. Where is she? <laughs> I have no idea. Where could she be? I, I can relate because I was working as uh, a children entertainer. I'm making eye contact. I don't see her. It's amazing to me. The other day we're playing, this is how things have gotten in my house, okay? Here's a very good example of how, where it's gone. We're playing a version of hide and seek where my wife and I have to decide together where to look. She likes that. She's like, Mama, you tell Papa where to look. Okay, well, fine. So <laughs> she's over there hiding like this, just in plain sight. And my wife and I, <laughs> my wife's like, why don't you look under the bed? I'm like, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> like she's, she's advisor. There. And then she says, why don't you look in the linen closet? Okay, so I open the closet. She goes, "That's not the linen closet. We don't put that in there anymore." All right, fucking Jesus. All right, I'll look in. So I look in that. Why would she be in that closet? That has shelves. She can't stand in a shelf. Well, maybe she's crawled in a shelf. Now we're having a fight about where to look for this fucking kid who's standing right there. I don't uh, understand his style of comedy fully. I understand kind of George Carlin numerizing of things. I can understand Dave Chappelle politician uh, <laughs> politician jokes. I can understand uh, Jimmy Carr, his jokes about sexual things and uh, girls. I can understand uh, jokes of uh, of uh, Bill Burr, psychopath. And uh, these types of jokes, Louis C.K., what's his niche? It is kind of interesting to understand his niche in this uh, business of jokes. And Gabriel Iglesias is a funny guy. Fluffy. He totally runs the house. We were at, I remember Halloween last year. A couple of days before Halloween, my wife comes up to me and she's like, we have to get you a cat costume. Cat costume? No, no we don't, actually. <laughs> no, we do, because she thinks you're going to be a cat. I don't know. It's like she's, got a, she's a guy with a gun in the other room. That's what it's like. She's like, she thinks you're going to be a cat? I don't know how she got it in her head, but she's expecting to be a cat on Halloween. I was go tell her to go fuck herself because I'm not doing it. I'm not afraid of her. She's two. I'll fucking fight her. I could take her. I could beat the shit out of thousands of two year olds all day, just walk around. They would never even gang up on me. They suck. I'm not afraid of her. So my wife decided that she wanted to get pregnant again. She decided it. One more child. And she, this is back in August. She told me, uh, you need to be in town next week. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because I'm getting, uh, you know, I'm ovulating. So, like, not do you want another kid, just be in town. That's how she handles it. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to, I don't want another kid. So, fuck it. And she's like, all right. Next week, she starts blowing me, right? Now, she hasn't blown me in, Jesus, I don't know if I've ever been blown. That's how long it is. What is blown? Blown is like a, when you... Ah, blowing. It is blow your mind. It is when someone does a kind of noisy and so annoying things to you. When someone touches you to the points of your mind that's so, so tiny and so sensible. She's blowing me on the day she's ovulating. I'm a fucking idiot. I'm like, yeah, you love it. Like, I think she digs me now. Fucking <laughs> stupid. So she's having another baby any day now. She's due, and uh, it's true. She's fucking, fucking the whole thing. And I'm like, okay. No, no, it's great. <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck it. That's really the attitude that keeps a family together. It's not we love each other. It's fuck it, man. Fuck it. Fuck it. Another kid. Fuck it. Why not? Let them all in. Good. Fuck it. <laughs> Here's the thing. 
Hmm, interesting. I, I, I feel myself like I'm not listening super jokes. I feel like he's telling stories, stories that uh, you can relate to. I never, 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 never judge other parents now. I never do. I used to, but I never do. Like, you know when you see a mother in McDonald's or someplace or in a toy store and she's just melting down on her kid? She's like, shut up, I hate you, you're ugly. <laughs> I, I, I had the situation, I, in Russia we have it uh, all the way. <laughs> and people are standing around going, oh my goodness, she's a horrible mother. Well, guess what? Those people aren't fucking parents. They don't have kids. Because any parents who are in that store are thinking, what did that shitty kid do to that poor woman? What did that shitty kid... <laughs> Again? Any parents who are in that store are thinking, what did that shitty kid do to that poor woman? Ah, maybe... Really, uh, I don't have uh, attitude of parent to understand the situation. That poor woman, I wish I could help. <laughs> it is stand up for parents. Because you don't know, man, you don't know. Or like when you see a parent that seems to be negligent, like you're in, you see a parent... Negligent, one moment, sorry, I need to Google to understand it. Negligent. Negligent, it is careless, sloppy, casual, for failing to take proper care in doing something. Okay. Man, you don't know. Or like when you see a parent that seems to be negligent, like you're in, you see a parent in McDonald's with the kid and the parent's like, oh, I can't take this shit anymore, and just like <laughs> collapsed and all the shopping bags are just strewn everywhere. And the kid's happy, the kid's eating french fries. And the kid asks a question like, Mama, why is the sky blue? And she's like, just shut up and eat your french fries. <laughs> and you think, what a terrible mother. Why doesn't she answer her child? When I have a child, I will answer all of their questions. <laughs> and open their minds to the wonders of the world. Well, guess what? You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You can't answer a kid's question. They don't accept any answer. A kid never goes, oh, thanks, I get it. They fucking never say that. They just keep coming, more questions. Why, why, why? So you don't even know who the fuck you are anymore at the end of the conversation. It's an insane deconstruction. It's amazing. This is my daughter the other day. She's like, Papa, why can't we go outside? Well, because it's raining. Why? Well, water's coming out of the sky. Why? Because it was in a cloud. Why? Well, clouds form when there's vapor. Why? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's I don't know any more things. Those are all the things I know. Why? <laughs> and this final point, shut the fuck up. Because I'm stupid, okay? I'm stupid. Why? Well, because I didn't pay attention in school, okay? I went to school, but I didn't listen in class. Why? Because I was high all the time. I smoked too much pot. Why? Because my parents gave me no guidance. They didn't give a shit. Why? Because they fucked in a car and had me, and they resented me for taking their youth. It is so Why? true. Because they had bad morals. They just had no compass. Why? Because they had shitty parents. It just keeps going like that. Why? Because fuck it. We're alone in the universe. Nobody gives a shit about us. I'm going to stop here to be polite to you for a second. But this goes on for hours and hours, and it gets so weird and abstract. At the end, it's like, why? Well, because some things are and some things are not. Why? Well, because things that are not can't be. Why? Because then nothing wouldn't be. You can't have fucking nothing isn't. <laughs> Everything is. Why? Because if nothing wasn't, there'd be fucking all kinds of shit that we don't like giant ants with top hats dancing around. There's no room for all that shit. Why? I'll fuck you. Eat your french fries, you little shit. God damn it. <laughs> Thank you very much. I started to relate a bit. Really, I s need to fix it one moment, and after that, I will I will tell you what I understand from this. Need to uh, need to write what what will be if I am 
apparent, apparent. Like essay need to write, need to create a video about it. It will be really interesting to think about it and to make like suggestions because I don't, I don't have uh, children and maybe I will not for uh, like next five years or something or maybe two years or maybe one year or uh, nine months and uh, I don't understand it fully and uh, right now I imagine what will be if someone will ask me questions for a long time like I understand that I can answer answer to to them one day then maybe need to play with children need to play with children and then everything will be fine that's why parents give to their their children so big amount of it is tv television you can introduce yourself jenny 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 introduce yourself to tv mr tv and it is mr and it is uh, and it is jenny jenny and mr tv you are friends right now and you can hang out together Yes, and uh, why they introduced to Mr. Ify, Mr. Ify, it is Mr. Ify, and it is, uh, and it is uh, <laughs> Miss Jeannie. You will be friends right now, or maybe you will be married for a long period of time, because you, you ask so big amount of questions. And uh, really, maybe that's why. But <laughs> I have this Matilda book. Did you read Matilda? Have you read uh, Matilda? It is about it too. Oh, Jesus, sorry. And uh, that's funny. And that's... Maybe I can ans answer to all questions of my child. But uh, I, I'm afraid of my throat. Need to be smarter. Need to ask questions to my parents back. Like to play game, no, 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 to my children back. I, I was a child when I was a child. I didn't ask so big amount of questions. Maybe that's why I'm not. I'm not super like a super powerful, smarty person who knows many facts about life. Maybe I asked, but I don't remember it. Okay, and uh, thank you a lot for watching. Have a wonderful day. Have uh, intriguing moments in your life. Have splendid time and always improve so daily and ask new questions in your mind. Uh, it will make you smarter. For what? We don't know because it is life. We should find our own sense. See you next time. Bye-bye.